In a series of fairy tweets, Nigeria social commentator Babajide Badamoshi expressed strong criticism towards Tinubu's remark regarding the nullification of the presidential election on account of 25% votes. Badamoshi, known for his vocal stance on political matters, condemned Tinubu's alleged threat towards the judiciary and made ominous predictions about the consequences. Responding to Tinubu's statement, Badamoshi tweeted, This is a president openly threatening the judiciary because he knows his presence in that seat cannot be justified. Constitutionally, it's just par for the cause for a drug lord. Badamoshi's choice of words highlighted his disapproval of the former of the president's alleged disregard for constitutional principles and the rule of law. Badamoshi subsequently took a more confrontational tone as he boldly called for chaos and expressed his belief in the readiness of Nigerians to stand against any unjust actions. He warned, you will not live to tell the tale if you are removed by the tribunal and you start any nonsense. Do anyhow, you will see anyhow. Wallahi, this message appeared to imply that Nigerians were prepared to resist any attempt to undermine their democratic rights. Furthermore, but I want to issue a strong warning to the judiciary stating with that said, if this man is not removed by the judiciary, they are there, they and their families will regret their decision for generations. Their generation yet unborn will cause their memories because the suffering he will bring to Nigerians for his personal enrichment and that of his family has just started doing press ups. Really? Uh uh. Hmm. Okay, oh. this is a precedent. According to what he tweets, openly threatening the judiciary because he knows his presence uh, in that seat cannot be justified constitutionally is just par for the cause for a drug lord. I say, bring it, bring the chaos. Nigerians are ready this time. You will not live to tell the tale if you Sinubu to tribunal nullifying presidential election on account of twenty five percent votes could lead to chaos, anarchy, and all manner of things. And some people are saying, oh, it was not Tinubu that said it, it was his lawyers. So, the lawyers, are they representing themselves? Whatever, he paid them that whatever they say is coming from him. So, everybody is just like, ah. has he got into this level? Really? If, if Tinubu should be saying that, if even as, let's assume that Tinubu said that, it is not even expected that that kind of a thing, even if Tinubu has said it, is it expected for the lawyers themselves to even, to put the message out there because if it is not what Tinubu said, the lawyer would have looked for a way or found a way to try to be diplomatic about it. Okay, we thought we have seen it all. It was the day of the election, the presidential election that I, because I was not even ready to kill anybody who wins because I'm always saying that, I was always saying that, you know what, out of these people, whether the four leading candidates, but we were really focusing, our lot of Nigerians were focusing on the three leading candidates. Out of the three, out of the four, at least three people, three of them were really very, very, um, we could really see them vividly. That any of them could win. That was what we were saying. Any of them, but the day of that election, whereby Tinubu came out, his talks came out and started challenging people that you cannot vote. That nobody they will not vote. Ah, then I knew that they, we are in for a very, very, very tough situation. Since that day, I began to like ah, what is happening? What is happening? What is happening? You know that it today it has always been even the election, uh, what is it called? The so-called uh, the governorship election. That one was even worse. And today nothing happened. So I knew that this man meant he meant what he meant he meant it for evil for nigeria for nigerians so this is now coming again well that is why i can never insult yoruba people because because of few agbiros among them who always insult entire Igbos because many of yorubas carry this new nigeria project for their head kudos sinubu threat now water if you do anyhow you could see anyhow that can be a threat it was just an advice to the judiciary to interpret the law in a just way as failure to do so can lead to chaos in the custody. 
in the society yeah so it is other people that will not need to <laughs> whatever but i think badamoshi is 100 percent correct as a father he claims to be and for the love he has for nigeria as claimed it is expected him to say that the judiciary should do their best and any outcome will be acceptable by him instead of threatening hmm. indeed uh enrich him his family god helped the federal republic of nigeria but i'm also just looking for relevance relevance for what fcc can't delay the current government apc progress Sinubu is gone for good. And that's why I'm surprised that he could descend, they could descend so low and be making such statements. He will be the first to be removed by tribunal. Are you sure this kind of kind of use of weight is coming from a supposed refined individual like Badamoshi? If that is coming from him truly, he is really frustrated and can only express it through the use of gutter languages. So what of a Tinubu? Because even some people are saying there's no way Tinubu could have made such a statement. I respect you, sir, for your strong guts. No to chicken in easily, which most politicians indulge with their greed and lust for power, compensation. God will keep you alive with good reward. He is technically threatening the judiciary. It's left for the judiciary to allow itself to be submerged. The Tinubu really said that, oh, if he did, that is to say that he has been abroad since because all these things he just said is part of everyday life as nigeria as a nigeria we fight every we fight even to feed we are used to anarchy on point thank god money has earned him former president and that was what he was looking for ex president bola adekule tinumbu female or ahmed bola tinumbu male he must be probed for his courts which is cold. Thank you for your concern, Madam Mossy. Let's say we we'll begin to because as from tomorrow we we'll begin to hear more, 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 more. And they will not say, Oh, that was not what they meant or whatever. So guys, let's say your opinion and have your take.